Friday afternoon. We are uh, heading up into the mountains. The original plan was to head up. We we're gonna get camp set up and get ready to uh, hunt first thing tomorrow morning. But I got some exciting intel from a buddy this morning. He called me while I was at work and gave me uh, some information on some elk in an area that is not too far from where we were gonna camp. So he was in there deer hunting and he was like, you know, the elk are going off, bulls bugling everywhere. So I'm not sure if the elk are gonna be hanging around in the area. I'm not sure if they're just passing through. So we're actually gonna try to do a little bit of change of plans tonight. We're gonna head right up. through the area but the other thing is there's a lot of times easy accessibility for other hunters so <clears throat> we heard a couple bugles up here and uh, so Tristan and Eric stayed down to call you know I pushed up and uh, the vehicle just drove down the road so that's kind of the nature of the beast up here, so we probably got another hour. Uh, <coughs> so let's uh, let's plan and pack for being out for the day. The star? No, I'm just saying you could oh, do okay. an introduction here. Oh, I didn't know we were doing the introduction. I thought we were doing <laughs> a free hunt interview. All right, all right. Um, this is Chris's first day joining us, so got Uncle Chris, man. That's always a good feeling for me. So um, feeling good about it. What we're gonna be doing is, given that it's the weekend and the traffic up here, human traffic, campers, hunters is a little bit heavier. We're gonna hike into a location and kind of spend the day up there. So we're gonna get back away from most of the hunters and the people and see what the elk are doing back there. It's gonna be pretty warm today, so, but there's plenty of water and whatnot. So see what we can get into. Hopefully they'll be calling back there. Yeah, you got your guide. You got your personal guide now. Got my guide. Oh yeah, caller. My packer. <laughs> <laughs> As we kind of kept on this area, there was more, there was a bull just chuckling, maybe about 8.30, it sounded like maybe he was with his cows, just chuckling. Right, so I don't know if it's worth ripping out a locate bugle and see what we get, see if they're in there. I mean, why not?
I say we just keep taking this. Maybe we can do the same thing. Okay. into an area where we were last night even though we didn't hear any bugles or anything it's just so promising it looks so promising anyway and uh, we just hope uh, we can get something to bugle or do some blind setups weather's been unseasonably warm which we'll has kind of shut things down for a little bit so hopefully they'll pick back up here soon
is unheard of this time of year. Last 30 minutes of the hunt. <clears throat> um, thought for sure this was gonna be the one, but had a lot of high hopes going into it. And there was a lot more activity going on a couple weeks ago when I came back in here, so thought for sure we were gonna get it done, but we were uh, battling a lot of other hunters elk that were call shy, hot temperatures, and <clears throat> just a tough unit where there was a lot of parcels, public and private, and not what we're used to, so yeah. definitely made for a tough hunt. Um, fun nonetheless, but a little disappointed. Yeah, man, I thought for sure. Same thing, uh, proud to hunt with you. It was fun to spend some time, and. Yeah. You know, call for you. I know it's been a couple of years, but uh, we'll get her done here soon, man. Yeah. You know, anytime you hunt a new unit for the very first time, it's all part of the learning curve, you know? So. Just another one in the books. Yeah. <laughs>